report published by the Nebraska Examiner says State Senator Julie Slama and seven other women accused the Republican gubernatorial candidate of sexual misconduct, ranging from allegedly putting his hand up Slama's skirt to another woman saying he cornered her and kissed her against her will. KETV News Watch 7's Michelle Bandour is here live with what Herbster sang today as well as one of his challengers. Well, Alexander David, I called the Herbster campaign today. I even called Charles Herbster's personal cell. No response. It's been pretty quiet, with the exception of a series of tweets. Now, on Twitter, Herbster posted a picture of his view during the Brett Kavanaugh Senate confirmation hearings. You'll recall the Supreme Court justice was accused of sexual misconduct. Herbster tweeted, little did I know, less than four years later, I would find myself in a very similar position. I will not back down. I am a fighter, just like Justice Kavanaugh and President Donald J. Trump. I will fight for my character and reputation. Now on Thursday, Herbster called the examiner's report a hit piece. Created by Governor Pete Ricketts and challenger Jim Pillen, Ricketts has endorsed Pillen for governor and has admitted to funding attack ads against Herbster. We sat down with Pillen today, who had this to say about the situation. You know, um incredibly uh, alarming, disappointing, disgusting. Uh, Suzanne and I's hearts go out to the young women who've been assaulted and, and uh, Holy Week, uh, you know, you think about uh, all the crosses everybody has to bear. These young women have a cross to bear that uh, they shouldn't and hopefully, uh, hopefully God's grace will help lift those a little bit and lessen it. Well, again, Herbster emphatically denies the claims, and he's even threatened to sue the news outlet. Reporting in the newsroom, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7.